Hey everyone, hope your week is starting off well. I just wanted to preface before we start this part that things are a little different this time. If you didn't see the community post I made earlier this month, basically I recorded all of the part you're about to watch without audio, meaning I had to re-record it, but I already saved over my last progress so I couldn't get back to where I needed to go to re-record it. So for this part you're about to watch now, I replayed the entire game in a separate save file. That's right, I have two save files now. I don't know what to do with both of them. But I, I got back to where I was and we're doing this part only, but on a different save file. So just know that if my stats or my my badges or small things like that aren't consistent with the previous parts, don't worry, it's just for now. Because after this part, we'll resume the other save file um, and continue where I left off. So, so sorry about the inconsistencies, really, it's the best I could do. And that's kind of why this series has been on hold for a while. Like if you're watching this binging and after the fact, you'd have no idea about any of this, but you know what, it's not important. I just hope you enjoyed today's part nonetheless. And I'll shut up now and get out of your way so you can get to the video. Well, the time has come, the walrus said. All right, going back into the sky in Bowser's castle yet again. You know, I think I'd be just about peeved if I was Peach as well. Look at her just pacing back and forth. Hey, Twink, how'd you feel about stinking out of here again? Shall we try? Princess Peach, you've gotten so bold. In here, I thought you were gentle and delicate. <laughs> oh, I... I am delicate. I'm behaving just like a delicate princess, just like the ministers taught me to. <laughs> no, Prince, you have a wild side, admit it. You've got moxie. Okay, okay, I believe you, Peach. You're the princess. Anyway, let's go for it. Alright, we're sneaking out of here yet again, same route as always. At this point, we've explored a lot of the different rooms around Peach's castle here. Oh, careful. There was a doorway over here where Babam Battlefield's entrance used to be, which didn't have much of it last time, but this time, it's a little different. Uh... Oh! It's Princess Peach! How'd you get out? King Bowser's really gonna flip his wig if we don't take her back to her room. And now hang on just a second. Get a grip of yourself, okay? No need to panic. She can't get out of the castle anyway. Yeah, good point. And besides, what do you think about asking Princess Peach to participate in our little game? She'd be ideal, and we need a third person. Uh, yeah, yeah. You might be onto something. Okay, let's do it. Princess Peach, have you been listening? You can come this way. We won't tell King Bowser about your escape if you help us with this little game we're playing. Oh, Peach looks so happy. How wholesome. We're set up right over here. Twink does not look happy though. Twink does not trust this shit. Oh no! Princess Peach! Koopa Corps presents the 64th Trivia Quiz Off. Alright, I changed his voice, but you know what? This is a quiz show we get to participate in. I'm your host, Mr. Hammer. <laughs> Where's this audience applause coming from? Let's get right to it, hey? I'm gonna ask you 10 questions, and the contestant who gets the most right is our winner. Press A when you think you know the answer, okay folks? The winner will get a gorgeous, fabulous prize. Good luck to all of you. Oh, and I gotta tell you, we're also getting prizes just for participating, so everybody will be a winner. That's just the kind of show we are. Ready? Okay, here we go. Question one. We got a little quiz show here. What's the name of the boss inside the volcano on Lava Lava Island? Well, we know this because we played as Mario. I don't know how Peach would know this, but... You know what? Sure. Next question. Question two. Where did Master Huffinpuff imprison the Star Spirit? Spiky Tom. Now, we don't know that one, but Spiky Tom gives us the answer here in saying Flower Fields. So now we know, wait a minute, there's a Star Spirit imprisoned on Flower Fields under Huffinpuff. What's the name of the scary round monster in Dry Dry Ruins? Well, we know that. That's the Chain Chomp. We did that area already. Or just Chomp, I guess. Question four. How would you get to Flower Fields? And Spiky Tom here giving us the answers yet again, passing through the Flower Gate. Hmm. Interesting, subtle way of giving us this information, isn't it? It's the name of the person whom King Bowser really loves. Ugh, some of these are, you know, questions. What thing is most deeply related to flower fields? Spiky Tom. <laughs> Flowers. Okay, that one doesn't help us much, does it? It's a close race between us and Spiky Tom. It's an easy one, question seven. It's the name of the most admirable, invincible, just downright cool guy around. Well, I wonder. There we are. What's the name of the ghosts who live in and around Fever Forest? Why, those are booze. What's the name of the area just south of the post office in Toad Town? Uh, just south? Not Koopa Village, that's to the east, so Flower Garden. Aha, uh -huh, now they're now they're using the process of elimination to teach us things. Final question here. Where's Peach's Castle now? It's in the sky. Uh, well, it's on Bowser's Castle in the sky, yes. So, the 64th Trivia Quiz Off has ended, in great success. The winner is, wow, our unexpected guest, Princess Peach. Congratulations, Peach, here's your prize. 
We got jam and jelly. We gotta get that to Mario using the the chest, the Resident Evil chest. Hell yeah. Thank you for coming, everyone. It's been grand. I'll see you at the next trivia quiz off. All right, what a time. Oh, Princess Peach, I almost forgot. Here's your price for participating. We got a sneaky parasol. Here's a sneaky parasol. If you face someone and press B, you can transform into that person. You just have to promise not to use it to sneak around. I mean, <laughs> nobody would know you were Princess Peach. Imagine. Sorry for giving you such a little prize, Princess. Hey, it's only a prize for participating, so what do you expect? That's actually a really good prize. Is he being sarcastic? Like, does he actually want us to sneak around here? Huh? What are you all doing? Hey, it looks fun. I'm gonna join in. Uh, we're just heading around the little box. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. What? You already finished? Oh, of all the rotten luck. Ah, Princess Peach, what's she doing here? She sneaked out again? Grrr. You, take Princess Peach back to her room now. Yes, sir. All right, so that's the end of our little Peach segment here. But we learned quite a bit about Flower Fields kind of by accident. <laughs> and sure enough, that's where we got to go next as we resume with Mario here. Oh, and Colorado. Poor bastard couldn't get his treasure. Oh, woe is me, my beautiful treasure. Listen to you. No treasure in the world is more valuable than life. Be thankful you escaped. To think, this island was put in terrible peril because of the meddling of Bowser's men. I think it will work out okay. The eruption will subside, and Lava Lava Island will be the same as it used to be. I mean, it's called Lava Lava Island, what do you expect? Dear Mario, you have saved five of us star spirits now. Just a few more to go. My name is Mistar. Let me grant you power that will help you along. Alright. Mario's star energy goes up to five. Or can I use Smooch, a new Star Spirit power, which is very good because it restores 20 HP, I believe. So it's a big heal. Uh, I have to go back to Star Haven for now, but if you need me, please call on me at any time. I'll be watching you and wishing for your success. I know you'll see the princess soon enough, Mario. Have faith. Thank you again for saving me. See you soon. Well, we're not quite done here on Lava Lava Island. Oh, I was so close. The treasure, right there. And then to get saved and yelled at by some sort of Blooming great starfish. <laughs> well, Colorado. Isn't that the way they say it goes? Let's forget all that and give you the treasure if we can find it. Cause I thought I saw where it dropped out here. Here it is. Volcano vase. Treasure found in Lava Lava Island. Well, we don't have any use for that, but I can imagine Colorado would like it. Hey, Colorado. Here, have the treasure. Mario, good heavens! It's the treasure! How on earth did you... Uh, well, I suppose that's of no consequence right now. You're giving it to me? You... You're giving it to me? Oh, glory, marvelous! Dear man, you are quite simply the cat's meow. Cheers! Yes, mm, I suppose it's only proper that I give this to you as thanks. We got a magical seed from a bulb, as in the one that was out there who wasn't giving it to us before. So, Colorado, you went out there and got the seed from them, but you couldn't find the treasure out there? I... okay. I'm sure it's quite valuable seed, but I'm not interested in it at all. Now that I've got the treasure, I proclaim this adventure to be a complete success. What a stupendous expedition. It will forever be recorded in the history of archaeology. My lord boy, let's away. Back to Toad Town with us. Yes, indeed. Let's get out of here. So it's good to know that things will be okay here in Yoshi Village on Lava Lava Island. But we're going to head back to Toad Town now, and, well, we've gotten four Bulb Magical Seeds. Oh, still more of these guys. It's a good thing I still have the Electrified Body if they happen to attack me, because then they just won't do anything. And, alright, let's go, Mr. Whale, back to Toad Town. We now need to go to Mint Tea, because we've been giving her all these Magical Seeds, but now that we can give her the final fourth one, we can actually access the Flower Gate of sorts, and, oh... Uh... <sighs> yes! I... did it! I swam all the way! Alright, Mario, now I'm gonna give you a beating you'll never... <laughs> we just left! Wait! Where are you going? Wait, Mario! Wait up! Come back here, you chicken! Shoot! You kind of feel bad for Junior Troopa at times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, but then you remember he is a bully. I mean, he started the game off attacking an elderly Goomba. Either way, we made it back to Toad Town safe and sound. Thank heavens we've arrived. Now, tuna fairings, one experience I shan't do again. Cheers for the ride, though. I'm in your debt. For now, I'm heading back to Koopa Village to relax. My wife must be waiting for me. 
Perhaps our paths will cross again in the future, old boy. Cheerio. All right, see you later, Colorado. Off he goes. Ah! <laughs> and swimming all the way back from Lava Lava Island is yet again Junior Troopa. I will never swim again for the rest of my life. Now, Mario, you're mine this time. Yeah, really. All right. Yeah. You got a battle with Junior Troopa yet again. Here it comes. You, you'd better be ready. Uh. Oh, his health is seeming to seemingly not doing so well. We we wouldn't have known because we never used the check ability with Gumbario. Oh no! All that swimming, my HP is almost gone. Well, I'll make up for my low HP by using my new skills. Check this out. More power. Oh snap! So he's in the air now. I know all your fighting patterns now, Mario. See my gear, the spike, the wings. You can't attack me now. I'm the smartest fighter alive. All right, so yeah, we can't jump on him and we can't hammer him up there. But we do have hammer throws, so you know what? Uh, we actually can attack him like so. Bam. What in the... I didn't think you'd do that. Is that even legal? <laughs> and then also, we have Sushi here's squirt ability is going to be effective. So long as we make sure we do good power on it. Yes, perfect. And just like that, we're halfway through this fight. Over halfway through this fight, actually. So yeah, this is one of the easier Junior Troopa fights. It makes sense. And it, of course, depends on if you have Sushi in your party and if you have the Hammer Throw Badge. But I always have the Hammer Throw Badge. It's it's too good to give up at any point. And there we go. Fight's over. Alright, thanks for the level up, Junior. Uh, you know what? And that I think about it, I have wings. If I had just flown to the island, I wouldn't have wasted my HP. And I probably would have beaten Mario in no time. I don't know about that. We still could have just spent another couple turns hammering away at you. Either way, let's uh, let's head over to Minty now. Oh, do you look at that? Gumbario's family's here. All right, nice to see you again. How's my brother doing? Hold on, let's switch over to Gumbario so they can talk to him. Come on, we're in a hurry, Gumbario. Seriously, you're so obnoxious sometimes. Be quiet. Damn. Gumbario, you're looking just fine, aren't you? You'd be careful not to be a burden on Mario's adventure. Hey, no way I'm a burden. We have barely used you, Gumbario. You help out all the time? I don't know about that. Or you must come over to our house again someday. Come on, stop it, Mom. You're embarrassing me. I'm not a kid anymore. Well, don't be silly, Pumpkin. I'm not saying anything embarrassing at all. I just love you, that's all. Can a mother be proud of her children? You always treat me like a kid. Yeah, and yeah. Gumbario's getting scolded. Shut up, Gumbario. <laughs> wow. Gumbario's being mean. Alright, some just family dynamic there. That's fine. Hey, Minty, you have this magical seed that Colorado gave us. Actually, that's Colorado over there. What the hell? With that, we unlock the flower gate. And of course, this is where we gotta go to take on the next chapter. Yeah! At first, it just looked like the flowers were blooming, but suddenly a door appeared. It must be... must be able to go to flower fields from here. Mario, flower fields needs your aid. Please help. Alright, let's go. I mean, the, the, the hinges around the door were always there the whole time. Oh! That flip around effect was kind of cool. Chapter 6, Dark Days and Flower Fields. Here we go. And coming out this door, we come out of a tree. What hole? Now who might you be? Uh... Hi. Ho ho ho! Up here, son. They call me Wise Wisterwood. I am the oldest tree here in Flower Fields, the land of trees, flowers, grasses, and plants. And you must be Mario. I've heard a lot about you, son. You're trying your best to save the star spirits and the rest of the world, aren't you? Very noble, if that is true. Then your arrival means a star spirit is here in our land. I would help you in your quest, but alas, uh, I cannot right now. Flower Fields is in trouble. Well, I thought you were going to say you can't help because you're a tree. Like, what can you do? A creature named Huff and Puff and his followers invaded our fair land not long ago. These creatures brought clouds into our sunny sky. It has been dark and cloudy ever since. The sun doesn't even bother to rise in the sky anymore. We're all weak and fading. Oh, I remember something. The rumor is that Huff and Puff is holding somebody captive. Of course. It must be the star spirit you're searching for. Probably. Oh? You're going to defeat the wicked Huff and Puff then? Well, that would make the wishes of Flower Fields come true. But it's not that easy. Huff and Puff is up in the sky. On what we call the cloudy climb. There's no way up there now. Well, you might be able to reach it if you find a magical bean or something that grows high. Now, wait a minute. I think there is a flower that has a magical bean somewhere. Um, I believe her name is Petunia. Perhaps she is off to the east. It wouldn't hurt to go visit her and ask about it. The other flowers and bulbs around here might have some useful information as well. I'd say talk to everyone. That's right, so we can talk to a lot of these folks to get particular advice. 
Seed manic petunia collects seeds like a crazy flower. He's growing due east of here. Gotcha, yeah. So this is flower fields. We got some enemies you gotta deal with here, including these little flower dudes from Yoshi's Island, if you remember these guys. I remember them. Yeah! Bam! Nice. All right, that's nine damage. Nine damage is enough to take them out. They have a very particular attack that I'm not a fan of where they sing this music at you and you have to block it right as their melody ends, but it's so hard to predict when that is. I got it that time, but I got lucky, honestly. And you know, we do have Miss Tar now for healing if we need it, so that's nice. And lots of star energy to boot. Oh, it's a B. Oh God, uh, Dow. Yeah, even blocking that did four damage to us. These guys hurt, but they are kind of glass cannons. I believe they don't have much health. Yeah. Just one attack from Mario is all it took there, so one attack from Sushi will do the same. There we are. I've already deduced they have somewhere between 2 and 4 HP. No more, no less. But, you know, that's just the kind of reason we haven't been using Gubario. I'm sorry, I know people want me to use Gubario. I just, there's been no reason to. Oh, shit, I fucked up there. Oh, man. Alright, you know what? Let's do a tidal wave. Hit them all. Uh, let's make sure you do the right button pushes. B, A, down, A, B, down, A. Oh, all right. I think we got good damage there. Beautiful. All right, we just got to deal with a couple attacks from these two. And... Block! Ah! Oh, that one's just leaving. Coward! All right, whatever. All right, going through those enemies to the end of this path. We encounter... This is Petunia. Do you have a second? Then listen to my sad tale. Ever since the sun went away, I've begun to droop. I have no energy at all. Without the sun, it seems like the whole world is sad. Now these money moles dig into the ground and bite my roots. Oh, woe is me. Please, sir. You look strong and capable. Could you get rid of these Monty moles for me? Uh, yeah. In case you're wondering, the Monty moles I'm talking about are... Uh, this guy. And this jerk. Wow. <laughs> and this troublemaker. And this wicked creature. Uh, this guy, you, know, you probably don't need to be concerned with that one. <laughs> Alright. Please don't fail me. My seeds and I are counting on you to save us. Alright, you got it. We'll get these Monty Moles in no time. Yeah. Alright, so we gotta fight a bunch of Monty Moles here to save Petunia. And yeah, Huff and Puff's cloud machine is technically blocking out the sky with all those clouds, which you can see the clouds now in the background, but for some reason it doesn't have that feeling of being cloudy out, I guess, just because it's so well lit, like the whole place, there's sunshine on the ground, we've got a clear and well-defined shadow underneath our, our sprites there. I don't know, for some reason it just doesn't come across as being the super dark and dim environment, but I guess they didn't want to do that for, you know, the flowery kind of area, they still wanted to have a spring kind of atmosphere, at least for the majority of the place. But yeah, we're just dealing with Monty Moles now, so this will take a second. <laughs> All right, there you are, Petunia. Oh, yippee! Oh, <laughs> God damn it, that meme. You got rid of the Monty Moles. Oh, thank you, thank you. To show you how grateful I am, I'll give you this magical bean. Here you are. All right, we got the magical bean. A bean, it's twitching as if to say, plant me this instant. Hmm? Yes, my name is Petunia. They call me the Seed Maniac. <laughs> nice to meet you. By the way, about that magical bean that I gave you, you shouldn't plant it. Why not? Because as a seed, it will always enjoy freedom. After it's planted and it's sprout up, it won't ever be able to move again. Don't you think that's sad? Please don't plant it with, oh, for instance, fertile soil and miracle water. I don't want to think about a sprout growing out of my cute little seed. No. Uh, sure thing, Petunia. We won't plant it. Yeah. Actually, I want to real quick double check and make sure I'm not missing anything over here. If we hammer this... Oh, here we go. We get ourselves a red berry. So we picked up a red berry. Oh god, the enemies respawned. All right, we got a bit more fighting to do, it seems. Oh well. I'm gonna end up dying in the way back there, honestly. <laughs> I'm only at six HP. I mean, we're close to getting a level up and that'd be nice just for getting another stat boost and such. Plus it would refill all our health and everything, but still, Jesus. Okay, there we go. So we go back to the main area now that we got the magical bean, but you may wonder, okay, what's the deal? Like, what do we do now? What, oh, what is it, son? Do you need something? Have you met Posy by chance? She's a wonderful flower. The soil is very nutritious and rich where she is. As a result, Posy's flowers always grow and grow. All right, yeah, so we're getting little hints of advice on what we gotta do next. But here's the thing though. There's all these sprawling directions. There's six different pathways we can go throughout the fields here. But through most all of these pathways, there's these flowers in the way who won't let us go until we feed them something tasty, kind of like gourmet guy, I guess. 
And the particular color flowers, the particular color berry they need to eat, which is kind of weird to think about, I guess. I don't, I don't get that. Um, there's also a couple pathways. There's just too many spikes in the way, so we can't get by anywhere. Like, this way, we can't do anything here, no matter how much we tried. Um, so, uh, there's a lot of different pathways, and that means a lot of different backtracking to the central area, possibly going back to Toad Town if we need healing, which I think we do, so let's actually go back to Toad Town now. And you'll notice it's very similar in that vein to Shy Guy's Toy Box, how we had a lot of different outstretched paths we had to go on, and then a lot of backtracking to Toad Town, or kind of a central hub throughout. And just like Shy Guy's Toy Box, I don't think this is a great area for that. We got the red berry just now. So we're gonna feed it to the red flower who's blocking one of the paths. And along that path, we'll get some other key item we need and we'll get uh, some other pathway unlocked. But there's a lot of back and forth to the central hub area. You're going to the end of these linear halls and then going back to the central hub and then going back to a different linear path. And it's it's not the most creative level design. That's the blue one. We can't do anything with that one. What about down here? Uh, no, this isn't it either. Bubble plant. I don't know, my name is Bubble Plant? Tell me if you give me a bubble flower. We don't have a bubble flower. Uh, how about this way? There we go, there's the red one. Uh, hello stranger, what do you think of my bright red coloring? Isn't it nice? You pass through here? No, sorry, I couldn't possibly let you through. Perhaps I can make an assumption you give me some delicious to eat. Have a red berry. Here you go. <laughs> Something about how they're eating it with their flower mouth like that is pretty funny. Well, alright. We unlock this pathway now. Of course, in all these pathways, you're dealing with more and more enemies. Oh, that's a cloud over there. A rough puff. Kind of a precursor to the Huff and Puff guy who's in charge of all the baddies here. Aha! It blocked you. It seems you didn't care about the electricity though. I suppose you are a cloud, like, I mean, you manifest lightning just when you feel like it. Oh, so on this pathway here we found the yellow berries, so we're gonna unlock the path the yellow flower is blocking, but we also need to go to the end of this for a different purpose. That's to go over here and see. Is this Posey over here? Look at this crystal tree. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful in all the world? Oh, excuse me, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Posey. Uh, what's wrong with my mouth? This is my nose. Oh, how rude. <laughs> I don't know, it's like a diglet kind of nose-mouth thing, right? Anyway, it was this fertile soil that made my nose grow so long. I happen to like it. All right, Pinocchio. Your nose is pretty nice too. Yeah, I suppose Mario's got a heck of a honker himself. It could stand to be a little longer, so why don't you take this fertile soil with you? <laughs> Thanks. Those will be perfect soon. All right. So yeah, now we're gonna go back to the central area. We got the yellow berry along the way, so we've unlocked another pathway. Uh, you can see this area is very repetitive and simple, and not the most interesting of areas, is it? I mean, actually, similar to to uh, Shy Guy Toy Box, I like some of the characters we come across because they're fun and creative. So I like some of the flowers here, like <laughs> proud of her long nose or something, or or. Petunia there who didn't want seeds to grow into flowers because then if they leave they like not have freedom anymore That's pretty funny as a dynamic So I like the characters in these areas. I like the characters in Paper Mario in general I think that really is one of the strong suits in all Mario RPGs, but especially early ones like this Where the characters really shine through there we are. I bet I could get Bombette to reach these ones here Go Bombette go shit. Oh <laughs> I tried. I tried so desperately there. Oh, they're just running away. Damn, we're not gonna get that XP then. We got a ton of enemies up here leading though to this party member upgrade, and I do want to get that. Even though if you if you watch the intro to this video episode, you know this doesn't really hold much bearing. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm not even gonna get this party upgrade thing yet. I'm gonna just ignore it for now. Maybe we'll come back here. We'll see. Like I said, it's kind of confusing with how the episodes worked. We got a blueberry, so now we can go on the blue path. You know, that's that's fine. I also saw a star piece back there I just completely ignored, but oh well. Got a dizzy dial. That's the other thing with this and Shy Guys Toy Box, and in some parts of that level anyway, is that you have to have a lot of inventory space because of the items they give you. Like in Shy Guys Toy Box, it was the whole cake mix deal with Tasty, uh, but here it's with the berries, right? Oh, oh, how horrible. The spring went dry. What a tragedy. Oh, this can't be happening to me. No, it can't. Not to Lily. Somebody. The horrible thing that rides the clouds took our precious water stone. Water flows from that magical water stone. Without it, the spring will never recover. Oh, and I'll wither up if I can't float on the water. I'll be crushed by my own weight and wither. Poor Lily. Oh no, don't give up, Lily. Perhaps a handsome prince will arrive and help you soon. Hi. Oh. A prince. Well, he actually looks more like a plumber, but beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> All right. Hello, my name is Lily. I'm a beautiful, fragile flower who lives here in the spring. Uh, to tell the truth, 
I have to ask you to do me a favor. Could you please get my water stone back from that horrible cloud creature? Yeah, we could try. Oh, you're a dream come true. Thank you so much. Waterstone looks just like this. Looks like a ring pop, actually. But yeah, we'll go look for that. Which means we gotta backtrack out of this area to go find the Waterstone for her, go to the Blueberry Path, and then come back on this path again. It's just so much back and forth. It's, it's really not interesting level design. And that's something I will fault this game for, is that its level design is not the most fantastic, in most cases. But it's fine, honestly, because this game makes up for it in a lot of other respects. And I still consider this a really solid RPG on the Nintendo 64, which, well, didn't really have that many solid RPGs, actually. Hello, here's... Oh, wait, that's a dizzy dial. Shit. <laughs> I forgot I picked it up after I picked up the blueberry. Uh, whoops. Do I get my dizzy dial back? I don't think I do. I'll have this blueberry, I guess. That was an unfortunate waste of that item. Oh, well. We got these guys here, which means we got a quake hammer, of course, to flip them over. Yeah. 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 Bam. There we are. I suppose she could just shoot water at them, and that affects them even through the shell. But... Eh, it's less FP to just do Quake Hammer. Either way, yeah, we're carrying on through here and we get ourselves into this kind of hedge maze area where there's a couple of Lakitu flying about. Hey, where'd you drop it, idiot? Often Buff will have our clouds if we don't find it. Oh man, I'm so clumsy. That stone gave out an endless supply of water. Without it, we can't increase the power of the Puff Puff machine. It's just gotta be around here somewhere. It's just gotta be. What? Is that Mario? Look, man, it's Mario. Let's look for the stone later. Let's go rough this dude up. Oh no, Mario, are you sure? I'm not sure I'm, you know, in the right metal state. Ah, forget it. I'll fight anyway. Here it comes, Mario. <laughs> I like he was taking a moment to be like, oh, maybe sh I shouldn't do this. I don't know. Down, B, down, B, down, B. What the hell was that? <laughs> Where's the A buttons? Either way, that's pretty good. Wow, that only did two to those guys? Okay. Uh, Mario, just do a power jump on this one here. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Good block, Mario. It's appropriate that they're fighting alongside Spiny, isn't it? Because they're kind of like companions in the actual Mario games. But let's try this again. Down, B, A, down, A, down. Shit, okay. That's enough to take almost all of them out. Okay. Well, we're pretty much set on this. Uh, yeah, just jump on this one, Mario. Hit, yeah, and bam. All right. A couple of turns and we're victorious. And that's a level up. All right, so the key to just kind of fly out of there. But now we are free to explore this kind of maze and find where we gotta go through here. There's a lot of pipes that lead to other pipes throughout the maze, so you gotta kind of traverse around and see what leads where. And you may think this is a dead end, but actually some of these corners you can go through, like that one there, even though this just leads back to the beginning. Um, but I believe we can go through this one here? Yeah. Does this lead somewhere we gotta go? Uh, maybe. We're on the other side of the whole place now. Just kind of feeling around, seeing where we might have an entranceway. Okay, there's a pipe where we get out. Uh, oh, that's probably it there. Let's see. Yep, okay, so the center one in the maze is the one that gets you out of there. And this takes us to over here where we have, is this uh, Rosie? Oh, hello. It seems like ages since I last saw a visitor here. I'm Rosie, a rose spirit. I'm ever so glad to meet you. Here I am in full bloom and there's nobody to look at me. Please, admire me all you like. Breathtaking, aren't I? Aren't I just incredible? I, sure, whatever you say. Really? I'm that beautiful? You're so honest and charming. And underneath that scruffy mustache, I bet you're handsome. Wow. How are you gonna diss Mario's mustache? I like you. And because I like you, I'll show you this. This stone. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Mario just like, give, 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 give. I found it just the other day. Some strange creatures on clouds dropped it. I couldn't resist its gorgeous glitter, so I made it mine. I could look at it all day. Huh? What did you say? I should give you this stone. Oh dear, you're saying Lily's in trouble without this? How very sad. Oh well, can't be helped. The stone is mine now, you see. Oh, how evil. You mean Lily would wither up without the stone? Huh, how sad. Really, how very pitiful. As hard as it is to believe that Lily sometimes acts like she's prettier than I am. She's dumb, but she's not evil. And if she's gone, there'll be no flowers to set off my beauty. Let's see, tell you what. If you bring me something more beautiful than this stone, I'll think about trading it. So, let's wait till then. Is anyone else reminded of Alice in Wonderland with all these flower characters? But also, I mean, that's gotta be a reference here with all the <laughs> the, the non-painted roses here. Someone's gotta paint those roses red, don't you know? So now, we gotta backtrack through all of this area, go back to Posey's area and gather a shard from her cool-ass tree over there she's got, 
and then backtrack through this area again, get it to Rosie, and then get the water stone back to Lily on her pathway. There's a lot of back and forth in this shit, isn't there? Also looks like a ring pop. I feel like we could have given her a ring pop and it would have worked all the same. I don't know if those exist in the Mushroom Kingdom, but you know what? I can dream. Alright, after doing a bunch of backtracking through the same three areas over and over again, we have fulfilled the getting the water stone here for Lily. And yeah, that's that's what we had to do here. So that means water fills up the previous area, and that'll get us that bubble tree there. Oh, it's water, sweet water. The spring's full of water. I'm floating again. Oh, this is paradise. Thank you so very much. I'll give you some miracle water from the spring. Here you are. Excellent, okay. So we need the sun out to grow this plant, which is obviously a problem with the whole machine, but otherwise we have all the ingredients we need. What we gotta do now is grab a bubble berry. These berries do give you other effects besides just being, you know, mainline story items. They... I guess you can pick up a couple if you want to use one. Depends again on your inventory space, what other items you have, all that stuff. Yeah, so we gotta go now to the bubble flower on the northwesternmost path, give it this bubble seed, or bubble plant, or whatever it is, and that way we can carry on this path. Uh, here you go. Good going. Okay, get a load of this. Um. There, isn't it great? Alright. And we can use this to float across these spikes to continue on here. I'm reminded of two things. First, I'm reminded of Spongebob with the bubble stand episode. Secondly, I'm reminded of Super Mario Land 2, which I guess is maybe more intentional, because in that game you had Mario traversing across a bubble through, like, Hippo's snot. I know it's disgusting to think about, but that was, that was a level. Oh, that was more. Was that seven? That was a lot. Yeah, that was seven. Good god. That was a fun level of Super Mario Land 2, though. Super Mario Land 2 is a great game. If you didn't watch my Let's Play of that, I did that one way back in 2020, I want to say? Yeah, 2020, I think. Oh, we got Lakitu's trying to get at us here. Not today, mister. Well, we got a thing for Bombette here. A little stone to break. Boom. And this is for the Mega Smash Badge. Hammers an enemy with a huge amount of attack power. That could be good. I mean, I don't have much badge points right now. And suddenly as we go on this screen, the, the music gets like... Dramatic and kind of amazing. Here, Bombette, I need you to help out with this little destroyable rock there. There we go. I'll lower that just a bit. So we gotta travel up this tower here to see... It's the sun! The actual sun! Careful, Bombette, I feel like this could set you off very easily. Hey. Hello. I never thought anybody would come all the way up here. I'm the sun. No, that's not entirely true. I should say... I was the sun. <laughs> what a dramatic tale from the sun itself. The clouds that came out of the Puff Puff machine that Huff and Puff built. Those clouds keep me from climbing into the sky. I'm a complete failure as a sun. All of those flowers and plants and flower fields are suffering. Where is it? I mean the Puff Puff machine. I think it's east of here. The clouds seem to come from over there anyway. What do you want to know? Do you think you can break the Puff Puff machine? Nah. There's no way. Don't strain yourself. Might as well go home. Damn dramatic. <laughs> what a weird, kind of, epic moment. I don't know. Well, either way, Mario, we gotta leave. Unfortunately, the sun is too downtrodden to do anything to help, I guess. But that's the end of this path. As we're traveling back, for some reason, there's no Lakitus along this way, but... Hey, hey, hey! Hold up! Wait, man! Uh... Oh. Hello there. Hey, man! I don't think we ever met, have we? I mean, you're Mario, right? My name's Lackalester. Er, no, it's Michael. No, I'm... Oh, uh, yeah, Spike. Yeah, yeah, I'm Spike. Well, whatever, never mind. Look, I don't have a problem with you personally, but I've got orders from Huff and Puff. Sorry, man, but I have to give you a bit of a beatdown. Like I said, man, sorry. I sound cool? Uh, yeah, totally sounded cool. Here it comes, man. All right, now we gotta fight Spike? Yeah, we're not entirely sure that's his name, but let's fight him nonetheless. Hup, bram. Nice, let's also give him a... Give him a squirt. Hurt. Yep. 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 Bam. Seven. That's what, 13 damage on our turn? He only did two. You're coming up pretty lackluster. Lack a Lester. 
or Spike or Michael, whatever your name is. Bam. There we go. We're doing a lot of damage. I'm surprised he's still standing, honestly. Maybe I ought to use Goombario and see how much health he has exactly. Because he's holding on, all right. Yeah. Was that it? There we go, finally. All right, another 12 star points there. I'll take it. Ugh. Man, you're tough as nails. I give up, man. Go on, do your worst. I'm not afraid of it. Do whatever you do to guys you defeated. Fire flower in the eye, pow block. Wait! Oh, and rushing down is another lack of you. Ah, no lack of Lulu. Yo, please, please have mercy on my poor sweet lack of Lester. Ah, don't call me lack of Lester. I like how his cloud looks angry too, because he's a lack of two. It's Spike, remember? I told you I changed my name last month. Come on now. Man, I mean, gee whiz. You're always embarrassing me like this. Although for some reason it makes me like you even more. I mean, what? No. Did I say that out loud? Forget that I said that. Wow. Anyway, I lost a challenge, man the man. So we have to settle this. I have to face the music. Mario, please forgive him. My lack of life was just following Huff and Puff's orders. We can choose not to forgive him. Damn, we'll forgive him. Really? Oh, for real? You'll forgive him? Oh, thank you. All right. Stop calling me Lack of Lester. It's such a stupid name. My name's Spike. Spike! Don't you ever listen to me? Ah, I'm beginning to think that this whole deal is stupid. I was working for Hufflepuff to be part of something big, but all I've been doing is picking pointless fights. This isn't what I wanted in life. What I wanted was... Hey, man, I've got a question. What in the world are you doing all this fighting for? Uh... <laughs> No reason. Man, you're a cool customer. You're out there every day risking your life and limb just because you feel like it? Wow, talk about a tough guy. You know what? I want to fight just because I feel like it. I'm going with you. Oh, no, Lack of Lester. You can't leave me. Please take me with you. Ah, oh, Lack of Lulu, chill out. You've got to understand. I'm doing this for you, don't you see? I'm going. i got to be a man. Wait for me. I'll return a much more manly Lack of two. Oh, okay. I'll wait for you, Lack of Lester. But you'll be sorry if you don't come back to me in one piece. I swear, if you make me worry, I'll take my spiny and... Okay, enough of that. <laughs> I guess I better make sure I'm tougher than you by the time I come back, huh? Why are we taking her with us? See me off with a smile now. You're so much cuter when you show me the pearly whites. Wow, what a weird dynamic those two have. Lack of Lester join our party. That's the only time we've had a... Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to skip all that. Uh, That's the only time we've had a party member join our party after fighting them. But we can ride him over spikes and lava, so that's useful. And he, of course, throws his spiny egg and such. He's got a spiny surge which hits all enemies, so that's nice. Oh my lack of Lister. Come back to me soon. I'll be waiting with a smile. Alright, off she goes. Ah, uh, come on, call me Spike. Alright, well, the cool thing with him is that we actually fly out his cloud and we move pretty fast. We also go over spikes and obstacles, so that's how we're able to get back, obviously. I mean, oh shit. Ah, uh, I'm actually hurting pretty bad right now. Now's a good time to show your ability. Oh, wait, we're out of FP. Mario, now's a good time to refresh. Because <laughs> actually, we're doing pretty poorly in HP right now. I'm probably going to have to stop back in Toad Town real quick. Although, I want to do one other thing first before I do that. But I want to show you the Spiny Surge here, where we like as if we were using um, Lady Bow. we got to smack left to the, the side repeatedly, which hits all enemies. It doesn't do nearly as much as Tidal Wave. And it's kind of expensive, actually. But I guess it's something, right? All right, you know, little bees weren't much of a match, it seems. And then the standard spiny throw here, we gotta like full on aim it, like we're moving the stick around, as you can see. That does the trick there. Give it a power jump, Mario, bam! Uh, did we get him? Oh, we didn't get him and he's gonna run away, damn it. What a waste of my FP. I'm honestly not crazy about Lack Lester as a party member. I feel all the things he does, we already have in the party in some capacity, right? Like hitting all the enemies. We already have that with Tidal Wave. It just costs a little bit more. Or like throwing a Spiny at them, which is okay. I am going to go ahead and upgrade him here, though, at this little area where we've been kind of ignoring uh, the party upgrade. Oh, I got a couple of enemies to run through, though, before I do that. Oh, they're just going to run away. All right. I have a feeling I won't be getting a level up before the end of this chapter, because 50 XP is quite a lot. And uh, a lot of these enemies aren't worth fighting at this point. But let's go ahead and upgrade Lack of Lester here. I don't even remember what the ability he gets with this upgrade. I don't think it's all that worth it, to be honest. Uh, what I'm really after is just increasing his damage. Let me just check again what that is. Cloud 9. Create a cloud to hide Mario for a short time. That's right, which I think makes Mario harder to hit, but not impossible. So it's just, again, like a weaker version of Lady Bo's whole thing. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm not crazy about Lack of Lester, to be honest. 
But at the very least, now that we upgraded him, this spiny throw does a bit more damage here. It does four, which is okay. You know, it's it's good. I'm gonna real quick go back to Toe Town and rest. Which, again, I don't like that I have to do this, but we don't have much choice. Well, now that we do have Lackluster as our party member, we can solve the puzzle over here, where we're gonna need to go through these spikes. And then over here, we can access this spot. Let's see, we raise this up. We lower the purple. Uh, we go back, raise the red, lower the green, get back on the green, raise the green, and then get on the purple to get over there. Pretty simple puzzle, but it's a fun mechanic. It's at least something, right? <laughs> right, because now we get up here, go on the purple, and then raise it back up. And we got it. There's another party upgrade thing over there. We could see what Lackalester's other ability is, I suppose. I don't think this upgrading is what I did in... The actual playthrough that you'll be resuming next part, so this is just to see what it is, really. And to get more damage going, because that's always good. Let's see, Hurricane. If it works, blows enemies away from the battle. We already have that with Lady Bo. With Spook. What? I don't know. Eh. It, it's it's lackluster for me that really goes over the edge of, this game is a lot of party members that it doesn't need. Oh, we got a letter. Alright, because there's nothing really unique about this, and... Oh, well, here's the machine. Alright, what if I just hit it? Hey, what are you doing? Uh, oh, I didn't mean to skip his dialogue there. Quit it, leave me alone, man. Can't you see I'm busy working right now? What if I just keep attacking this? Didn't you hear me? Stop it! If you break that machine, how are we supposed to keep filling the sky with clouds, huh? You ever think of that, genius? Think clouds just appear out of thin air or something? Wait a minute, you're... M M Mario! Alright, and now we fight. I like that it takes them a moment to realize what's going on here. But, uh, let's do Spiny Surge to hit them all, I guess. 100%. Like I said, it's four damage on all of them. Uh, hmm. You know what? Let's do Star Storm. I think this will just end the battle, actually, because 4 plus 7, that's 11 damage to all of them. I don't think they have 11 health or more. Okay, the Magic Koopa doesn't, but these guys do. Oh, they're spawning more enemies? You bastards. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. That's literally all Lakitu's do in Super Mario Bros. Um, do another Spiny Surge, then. Have a bit of damage on all of them. Alright, it's just that dude left. Quake Hammer. It, 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 yeah. Nice, okay. Is this the standard spiny hurt this dude? Which is kind of funny, by the way, that we are a Lakitu who can throw spinies and we're throwing a spiny at a spiny. You know what would be so much more cool? Is if we could actually, like, summon spinies to be on our side in battle, like some necromancer in Diablo 2 type shit. Da, ah, ah. They could have done so much more lackluster, I'm telling you. Retreat, boys! He beat us, but good. All right. So with that... The Puff Puff Machine is here for us to destroy. <laughs> Look at those chumps run away. All right now, Mario. We better do something about this Puff Puff Machine, huh? That's right. And now it's time to begin the Street Fighter II bonus stage. You win. Perfect. Wow. The clouds are gone. It's time for a little sunshine. Well, there's still clearly some clouds in the background, but yeah. Precious sunlight. Mario did it! He saved flower fields! Oh yes, the sun. Yay, yippee, the sun's back. Oops. Lose a control like that, it's so unlike me. Alright, yeah, so everyone around flower fields is celebrating the, the sunlight being back. We're, we've practically saved this society as is. It's the sun, it's the sun! Oh, that heat feels so good. Maybe being stuck in one place isn't so bad after all. I feel full of life again. <laughs> we've changed Petunia's worldview. But, that's that. What are we doing next? I'll follow you anywhere. All right, so Lackluster is fully committed to the party. And now, of course, we gotta go plant our seed, give it the soil and the water it needs so that we can get up to the cloudy area and face Huff and Puff, the one responsible for all of this. I like the music change. That's clever. It, it, it's fun, right? We're gonna talk with Wisewood here. Oh, thank you, Mario. You did a tremendous job. You cleared off those clouds so the sun could rise once more. It's nice to see my dear flower fields full of life again after such a long time. There's nothing like the sunlight. Oh, yes, of course. You should plant that magical bean, don't you think? It should grow well now. I'd say the best place for you to plant it would be over there where you can see the soil. That's right, just over here. So right here, we're going to use the bean. Or, uh, have you ever grown a plant? No, 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 wait a minute. We're going to use the soil, because I guess that soil's not good enough. We're going to plant the bean, and then we're going to use water on it which, combined with the sunlight, this thing's gonna grow, and I'm definitely reminded of Mario RPG with the whole beanstalk leading you to the cloud path thing. I mean, obviously it's a, a Jack and the Beanstalk kind of reference, but still, it's similar to the last RPG that Mario was in, isn't it? Look at this thing spiraling around in 3D like that, that's cool. Oh, look at that, the clouds shaped like ice cream and lollipops up there. That's pretty cool, that reminds me of Kipper. 
I already made that reference in Mario 64, but you know what? I'll make that reference wherever I can. Look at that sprout! Now you can go up to cloudy climb! Best of luck, son! Ah, my spot seems to be getting less and less sunny. How disappointing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Look, we gotta make do in order to save the, the flower fields, after all. You know, this area wouldn't be too out of place in a Kirby game, don't you think? So up here in the cloudy mess, we gotta go this way. And we gotta find that Huff and Puff to save the star spirit that he's holding and stop him from doing this ever again. Uh, 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 hi. Are you a man named Mario? Did you or did you not break one Puff Puff machine? What possessed you to do that? You completely ruined my plans to cover flower fields and clouds. You see, I was going to turn this sunlight blasted place into a cloud covered paradise. But I can't expect a man of your intellect to understand. Is that you, Spike? So, you betrayed me. Hey, at least he uses Spike's new name. That's nice. You'll be punished. I was given the star spirit by King Bowser. I'll never give it up to the likes of you. You will both pay dearly for your crimes. Oh boy. Alright, so now we're finding a big cloud man. Oh, and the music is so good. Hit him with this spiny here, lack of luster. But you can see, every time we hit this man, which we can hit him a lot, it's actually going to create a huge chunk of enemies here. Master Avenbuff, I wish to pummel Mario too. Permission to attack. Yes, take him! Alright, so all these dudes are coming after us, and we got a mash A to get them off us as they're doing more and more damage. Ah. And then, on his turn, he's gonna inhale to eat all of them up and get all his health back. So, all the damage we just did, undone. Meaning we gotta use a lot of AoE strategy to take those dudes out after we attack. So we can do the damage here with Mario, spawn a couple of them. And then with Lack of Lester, whoops, with Lack of Lester, we're gonna do the spiny search to hit all of them, including the little guys, killing them and stopping uh, Huff and Puff from getting his health back from those ones. He's gonna get his health back from these ones here, we spawned in, but it works nonetheless. And so there's this kind of important pattern you gotta follow. Because honestly, in terms of HP, he doesn't have the most. But the fact that he gets his HP back is a problem. And oh god, we gotta reduce damage here. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Now, Huff and Puff won't always inhale enemies on his turn, just you know, whenever he doesn't want to do like a standard old attack. So we just gotta be ready for whatever he's gonna do in his turn. Which, there is an exploit I learned about, because I think it was just like discovered recently from a YouTube channel who focuses a lot on Paper Mario. Shout out to this guy. I'll. Uh, have a link in the description to his video on this, but if you have Mario intentionally die from the mini clouds attack and then like get revived from a super mushroom Then Huff and Puff won't actually have a turn meaning he won't get his health back And you can end this battle pretty quickly assuming you have a whole bunch of revive mushrooms It's pretty cool that people are still discovering stuff with this game honestly. You asked for it. Now you witness the full power of my storm Master Huff and Puff leave him to me all right, we're always going to take a couple damage from those clouds, it seems, no matter how much we mash. But now he's becoming all electrified like this. Uh, you know what I'm going to do, actually? Because I know he's about to do this big attack on us. Uh, Lady Bo, let's, let's get out of sight here. Because these guys are going to do nothing on us. They're just like, oh, okay. And then Huff and Puff's going to do his big attack here. His big lightning blast, which does nothing. Thank you, Lady Bo. Otherwise, it's a pretty simple fight, just kind of learning the few basic attacks he's doing. You know that he's going to get some health back here and there. It's it's bound to happen. We could also use Star Storm if you don't have AoE with, like, whatever party member you're using. And that's a good strategy for, like, if you want to use Lady Bow, smack the hell out of him. And then Star Storm all the dudes he spawns. Like, that's honestly a really good strategy right there. But I think we're fine just continuing to go on as we're doing here. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm just going to hit him, because I don't know that he's going to inhale this turn. We might as well see. Five damage. Are we going to inhale your dudes? No, he's going to attack us, which is good, because that means next turn we can spiny surge all the dudes he spawns. Uh, uh, oh, I almost got it to two, okay. Yeah, because now Mario, do a bunch of damage with power jump here. Yeah, like so. Oh shit, I don't have enough FP. Fuck, I really messed that up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> do more damage on him, I guess. Uh, he's just going to get it all back next turn, isn't he? He's just going to inhale. Unless, oh, he's charging up his thing. Uh, that's good, because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use... I could just use a shooting star to hit all of them as well. Do that, yeah. That'll get rid of all your dudes, and that'll do damage to you as well. Bam, look at that. 
It spawned a lot more as well, <laughs> just in the process, but that's okay. I guess do more damage to him, because he's not going to heal this turn either. Bam. We're about to find out how much his lightning thing does to us, because I don't think there's any avoiding it for us. Maybe we can block? Let's see. Ow! Oh, that did nine. Okay. Yeah. Not great. We should have a lot of maple syrup. I ought to use one of those. But I also ought to heal. So you know what? Let's do smooch here. Like so. Thanks, Miss Tar. That's most of our health back. I'm just going to focus one of the little guys so that way... Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! Really? Oh, what a waste of a turn. He's going to get all this health back too, isn't he? It's a really tough strategy. you got to manage here of, of making sure he doesn't get too much of his health back. And honestly, Gumbario might be pretty useful here just to see how much health he's got left at whatever given point. So you know how close you are to beating him. But eh, it's fine. Oh, he's doing a big lightning attack again. Okay. Uh, in that case... I'm gonna do a quick refresh here to get some health back and some FP and all that. And then... Let's do more damage to him, yeah, because he's not gonna heal this turn. There we go. And then next turn we'll do the Spiny Surge, because we got the FP for it. It's just this lightning I gotta worry about here. Oh, is he doing the, the large lightning that hits everyone? Oh god, that did 11! Jesus. How do you like that? Well, Master Hoffenpuff, you're truly the mightiest. Yeah, that did a lot. That did more than I thought it would. Alright, well, let's do all the damage we can. Bam. I did not time that right, okay. Alright. Good damage going. Oh man, we only have 11 HP. That's in range for him to kill us with that big thunder attack. Seem to be in trouble. I guess I better stop messing around and fight hard. Will you be alright, Master? Uh, we're not finished yet. Here I come. Oh, what's he doing? Uh, he went up. He's coming down. Wow, big ground pound attack. We are hurting. Mario, heal up with this fruit I got here. Get 15 HP back, very nice. And then, um... Uh, yeah, do another Spiny Surge. Keep it going. Getting that consistent damage on him and his croonies is important. Oh, that was it! We got him! Nice. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wow, we're two XP away from leveling up. Oh, well. No! I cannot lose! Oh, and there he goes. Sorry, old chum. But you were holding on to the Star Spirit, after all. And there we are. Alright, so the next Star Spirit is saved. We did it! Ooh. And then, yeah, as I said at the beginning of this video, after this I'll resume the other save file, the one you're more familiar with throughout the Let's Play, and so all our stats and party member upgrades and all that stuff will be more consistent with where we were at. Thanks for bearing with me for this one unfortunate part that made me had to replay the whole game. But it only took seven hours, actually. So it is that Mario and party defeat the cruel cloud Hoffenpuff and set free the sixth star spirit. The thick clouds that once cast dark shadows have gone, and flower fields is bathed in sunshine again. A single star spirit waits to be rescued, waits to take its place in Star Sanctuary. Perhaps you will see Princess Peach soon. Perhaps. Just wait and see. Kami Koopa, who watches impatiently from Bowser's castle, is waiting too, for you to try to save them.